My name is Katie Seals. I'm a printmaker and an artist. My name is Eli Castiano, and I'm an artist currently living in Oklahoma City. My name is Elliot Robbins, and I was recently chosen to be a Momentum Spotlight artist for uh, OKC 2014 exhibition. My work deals with the fixation of pleasure in American society and how it can alter my cultural identity. For the Momentum Spotlight, I proposed a body of work titled End in Itself. End in Itself is a multimedia sculpture that incorporates visual and audio components for the viewer to interact with. The paintings incorporate imagery from popular movies, comic books, and animation. The audio component in End in Itself incorporates movie samples that I've manipulated and transposed to create a musical soundtrack. I use the same approach in creating these musical soundscapes that I would with the paintings themselves. And in itself serves as a symbolic totem for transformation. Each section of the sculpture captures a character going through a transformation, mutating into something else. I tend to make work about the underbelly of American culture with like a feminine twist on it. So this project, Honky Tonk On Way, is a installation-based project using textiles that explores loss and divorce and separation as told through uh, um, large panties. The lyrics are uh, embroidered, crudely embroidered on the front of the of the underwear, and they're lyrics from country music from ranging from like the 1960s and 70s, even to maybe contemporary country music. And it explores the themes of loss and um, just uh, expectations on relationships within uh, country music. I recently graduated from the University of Oklahoma where I study printmaking and painting primarily, but I also do sculpture and this project is gonna be based in uh, figurative sculpture. I kind of came up with the idea to do this character along, I think I was like in high school, when I decided I wanted to do a character that was like this, that kind of contradicted regular notions of what a protagonist could be. And uh, I kind of grew out of kind of just watching a lot of fiction and reading a lot of fiction and recognizing that there's a huge vacancy as far as uh, people of color or black characters or black male characters as the hero figure. I kind of wanted to just make something in which the, the black male, young black male would be the hero of the story. My Momentum Spotlight project is, uh, I call it constructed ephemera because I'm kind of trying to build a story out of uh, pieces rather than that, you know, delivering a story in a linear fashion. So each of these pieces kind of relate to this plot that I have developed that kind of exists in this place that isn't very linear. Momentum, for me, presented me with a great opportunity to kind of have another learning experience after get, right after getting out of school. You know, it gave me a little bit of money to buy some time to where I could explore materials and I could uh, try, something that, try something I didn't even try when I was in school. The Momentum Spotlight's helped in several ways. It's given me a budget to work with where I can create work at a larger scale. It's given me a chance to showcase my work to a larger audience. And it's given me a chance to have several people provide input to help create a more cohesive body of work. To kind of have a captive audience and to be able to get really good feedback from um, you know, the curators uh, and everybody involved, not just the curators, but everybody at OVAC and any kind of nuanced dialogue that, that comes with this project. It, it's so incredible, I, could, I couldn't have asked for anything more.